Hey there and welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew and in today's episode we're talking about how you can make money by being a mobile notary public. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's get to it. Hey there, as I said, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. Today we're talking about how you can make money by being a mobile notary public. Well, first, what is a notary public? A notary public is a person who is licensed within the state to be able to certify documents. This could be a notary that does real estate. This could be a notary that signs legal documents car loan paperwork, banking. There's all kinds of different styles of notary publics. But essentially, they all do the same thing, which is verifying you are who you say you are, and then that you sign that paper in front of them, whether it's a contract, a lease agreement, a loan agreement, or a home purchase, a car purchase, and so on. They're essentially somebody that will sit there instead of having an attorney that you have to pay all kinds of money for that will verify that you are who you say you are and then watch you sign the document and then sign it and seal it or stamp it with a seal to show that it is in fact an authentic signature and was witnessed in front of a notary. Now, what does it mean to be a mobile notary public? A mobile notary public is just like a normal notary. However, the biggest difference is, is the notary is going to be a person that travels to the customer rather than the customer going to the notary. So, for example, when you go to the bank, there is a person that is always there that is a certified notary public. Now, you had to go to the bank in order to find that notary. What I'm talking about is you being at home or being at work and needing to have papers signed, but also needing them certified that you sign them and are who you say you are. In this case, the mobile notary public would be somebody who travels to you, the customer, rather than you, the customer, traveling to them to verify this information, sign it, and stamp it to show that it is certified by the notary as identifying you and witnessing your signature. As a mobile notary public, can charge a fee. Now, of course, every state has their own stipulations on notary publics. So you're going to have to check your local state laws as to the price cap for your state. But you can get the cost of transportation to the customer. You can get up to the maximum charge for being notarizing a document, no matter what kind it may be. And then you're good to go. Not only are you getting paid to witness and verify that person signing that document and who they are, but now you have an additional charge for traveling to that customer as well. So we'll say hypothetically, you have a customer reach out to you who doesn't want to go to a bank or go find another mobile or another notary within the city or county. They call you instead, in which case you have to travel from the south end of the county to the north end of the county, which is going to take you anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour per se, right? Well, now you have your standard notary fee plus the expense of traveling that 45 minutes to an hour. Now, I'm not saying every client's going to be that distance, but this is just for hypothetical purposes. 
you can then charge an additional fee on top of your notary charge for traveling that distance. This could be by the mile, this could be for the time that it takes you to travel, and so on. So you could potentially make $25, $30 for an hour, hour and a half worth of work, if not more. As I said, check your local laws to see what your cap is for notary services. Just so you are aware, also, you do have to be certified by the state in order to be a notary, and you do have to have a seal or a stamp in order to go onto those documents as well. Most states have a requirement of around three hours or just over three hours of training in a test to certify that you do meet the state's requirements for being a notary public. If you want more information on this, head on over to my website at consultablindguy.com slash blog and you'll be able to find an article on being a mobile notary public as well as many more. Don't forget I have a book available right now called Income Booster 100 plus businesses you can start from home and ditch the nine to five. There's literally something in there for everyone doesn't matter whether you're full-time part-time or unemployed disabled, stay-at-home mom, or just looking for a side hustle to make some fast cash. If you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you found today's episode informative. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day or evening depending on where you are in the world, and we'll see you in the next episode.